All right, they lock in. Nothing surprising here. Liberalene on his DDD, Bloud on his Fox. And we head into Pokemon Stadium 2. No surprise there either. And here, you got such an interesting matchup. DDD with the able uh, ability to just churn out the damage in quick succession. <clears throat> uh, Gordo's for really nice protection. Of course, Fox able to reflect Gordo's, but leaves himself a little open when he does so. But DDD being a big target, a heavy target, opens himself up to a lot of Fox combos. Uh, specifically, the up tilt just chain at low percentages. Already past that mark as we've gotten quite a few lasers out of uh, Bloud's Fox here so far. Both up into those 50s, headed towards 60. That up smash though, and that's what you start talking about. You're afraid of up smash and up air. And actually both these guys can do that. Up smash or up throw for Fox into an up air is very dangerous. Nice neutral fall, uh, neutral air out of the fall there. Gets in and looks for the reflect on the Gordo, protecting that ledge a bit. His up smash doesn't hit, but the DDDs does. Good spacing there from Lerulean. Dashes that, or uh, slides out of that uh, jab there. And damage is just so easy, they're, or even, they're both at 100 just over. Shield there getting pretty low, skittles it out, and that dash tackle do it, though, sends him out the side. But at 114, Lerulean not safe either. Up air not quite able to finish it. Reflected on the Gordo, inhaled in, up tilt. Up tilt again, looking for the up air, not going to get out of that. Uh, that up tilt thought there was going to be a rolling. Smash skittles the shield, but doesn't break it. Gordo finally making it through, some damage there. Looking for the grab, not able to get it. Another up tilt, looks for the up air and finds it this time. 28% taken before that star kill, but not too bad from the side of Bloud. Really even matchup. Good lead right now from Lerulean. Seems like overall the neutral has been going Lerulean's way. But Bloud here on second stock, coming in aggressively and doing well. Ledge play, very clean right now, but a good shield into grab there from Lerulean. Quick shield there from Bloud to avoid that fair. And nice air play there. The neutral jumping back up, getting the up air. Down tilt going to come in. The B charge, just going to roll past it. And there we go, get a little uh, up tilt string, but only the two since already high enough damage. Up air, good DI to the side there by Bloud to stay alive. Bloud. Bloud almost gotten gimped out there, but manages to survive. And I'm trying to bring his opponent up to that 100 he's at as well. Literally not having anything of it. Up smash, not going to be the kill. Up tilt, not going to land there either. Shields through that, goes into the jab. And there we go, 120, 100. These percentages staying about the same. 20% uh, difference. Now looking closer to 40. Gets to the ledge that two frame not going to be found, but the up smash will come as Bloud leaves himself open. 100% on Lerulean here. 130. J falls into the Gordo and Lerulean punches. Oh, does not get the punish. I thought he was going to get that smash attack there. Instead, Bloud gets in up smash of his own and brings it down to final stock. About 10% difference here and Bloud's going to even that up with his jab combo. Take a small lead. Gordo helping protect that ledge himself, actually. Gets over top into a couple... Oh! Drag down with the Nair, gets that one jab, the jab lock into the down smash. He's been so good at that. And he does it again. Oh, he goes for the full jab combo this time. Up smash, not quite gonna kill. Has him right at the blast zone, not gonna come through. Gets the grab there, throw, back throw. Reflect the Gordo. Oh, <laughs> what did... <laughs> Not going to defend the edge there. Bloud going to land. Perfect shield off on the Gordo hammer there. Shield poke comes through. A little bit of shield going down there. Oh, Gordo's going to land. We're really looking for the spacing. Doesn't get it down tilt. Not going to land. Shielded Gordo there. Next hit will do it. 77, 160. Good hit from DDD, he'll send that up smash, not quite enough. Or I'm sorry, up tilt, not quite enough. <laughs> 174, Bloud needs something, reflective the Gordo, not gonna land. Tries to get in, looks for that. Oh, up tilt's gonna get him up in the air. Gordo, land for the safety. Oh, and he just reflects it back out of the spit. Gordo, game one, going the way of Bloud at 102. Quite the game one there from these two guys.
Headed to final destination. And no surprise, running back the characters. Would have been more surprised if they changed it up by a long shot. Uh, this is an interesting stage. Opens up a lot more, or even a more laser opportunity for Fox here to get in that poke damage. And wow, the combo's coming out. But of course, makes the Gordo game also more dangerous from Black. I beat right Fabian. <laughs> <laughs> Jaws so excited he can't contain himself. 2 0 on, the on Fabian. We'll see that in bracket here in a moment. Uh, but right now, Bloud getting out that damage. All right, I'm sorry, taking back that damage that he had been dealing to Lerulean. Oh, the up smash not going to quite be enough. Sends him near the blast zone. Not quite enough. Not going to be able to get the up airs. He gets spit out underneath stage. Oh, no. Lerulean with just a quick, smart play there to get first stock. Blau not happy about it after leading so well early in the stock. Damage got even, and he ends up paying in a, an advantage he had there. Looks for the two frame. Not going to land that. Gets away from the Gordo. Really quick play there. Tilt going to land. Perfect timing from Blau to avoid that uh, dash attack at the edge. Gordo spit and shielded on the back end. Yeah, not going to be able to shield all the way through that. It kind of could have poked or he let go because otherwise that was probably a break. Avoids the fair, but that backer is going to be a kill. Brings it down to two stock apiece. 54 carried over. Get a bit of a sigh out of Blau as he brings it even stock wise. We got Jaws back on the desk after his victory. He is stoked about it. Oh, dashes into the Gordo, but it ends up also hitting Lerulean and Bloud going out. Shout out to Bloud, fellow box player. I might have a really bad record on him, but he's, I love him. <laughs> but game one, it went the way of Bloud in a very close match. Uh, first stock was heading Bloud's way, and Lerulean played it well, and it's been pretty heavily Lerulean since, but all of a sudden here we're seeing on Bloud's third stock, Getting that damage up high, not taking a whole lot, but he needs, once again, get the kill blow. It's all about finishing off that stock against DDD. That's not so easy. No. Only gets the first part of the up air. Second part would have gotten the kill there. Yeah, At I 120, mean, that high. Shields through. Gets the smash there. That'll do it. Down to final stock. 53% carried over. Bloud can do this. Oh, yeah. What you said about, like, just finishing <laughs> the stock is so important because, like, I, I played Lurulian and I just beat him in the last hit, but... Like, even when I'm losing, it's like, Lurulian will just, like, find a way to really hit you hard. And... <laughs> Speaking of getting hit. And there we go. That, this the first time we've seen that, uh, the low percentage up tilt string in this matchup. Although Orlean has been good to avoid it, and Blau's generally been aware that he's going to avoid it, going in, getting grab combos right away. But that one, I mean, what, it pumps 60% out of that? Just disgusting. Yeah, it was actually the smartest place to do it right by the ledge because it's harder for DD to necessarily get out because you can't really go off stage. It's not really. <laughs> You've only got one direction of DI that's really smart. <laughs> yeah, so. Uh, you know, let's go on Bloud for almost dead even percentages here. He gets the turnaround though. Oh, dude, no. <laughs> Bloud, we don't want any jobs, I, man. I see your reasoning, dude. I really do. <laughs> I really thought you would have gotten out of it. I don't know how. <laughs> oh, Bloud questioning the hitbox hitting on every side of DDD and uh, all corners of the stage, it seems. <laughs> Yeah, uh, and they go back to FD though in the 1-1. One, one. Yeah, you know, it's really funny that DDD's down B, the Jet Hammer, it's a decent leg strap. It's not like it's a, it's, it's not yeah. as bad of a move as people well, want to say. He it. has the ability to turn around, so if you put yourself in the right spot, you've got, you cover both the roll and the get up. Yeah, that's that DLC movie he has and, right there. And he can jump, so, you know, you cover the, like, you cover all get ups. You just have to time it right. Like, Really, the only get-ups that cover that is somebody who has a, a hitbox to throw forward coming off ledge. And Blau just making it back. And <laughs> that fox looked really angry. I got back up to stage and just chased that bird down. And there we go. The tilt only gets one. Goes into that uh, multi-hit in the air. Yeah, just a simple <coughs> fox combo. It's like, you know, 
everyone who wants to air dodge to get out of it, but you don't air dodge against Fox. So, uh, oh my god. They get up into the roll. Really nice play there from Bloud. Uh, maybe he figured that out, Shield like, back. right after that no, last I, stock happened. I think he did basically the opposite last. He did roll up and roll, and DD, like, double turned. It was uh, really interesting. I'm definitely going to have to watch that one back after today. But this damage, I mean, Loud churning oh it out. God. 130, DDD still alive. Loud looking for it. Yeah. Uh, Up smash, though, he's way in front of him, so it only knocks him back. That would have been a kill, uh, any sweet spot on it. Yeah, so the thing you saw a few seconds ago where, like, DDD will jump and then land with back air, that's, I call that the Lurulian special because he'll do that whether he's winning or losing. <laughs> it's a good move, man. Loud okay. trying to get out there. Uh, up air might have landed. Oh, the spit out. Gonna guard the ledge, Gordo. Dash in, makes it. Gets under the uh, dash attack from Lerulian. Yeah, DDD asking if you can quack like a duck if you suck. He just holds the shield and takes care of business with it. All right, 104, though. Lerulian should take this stock pretty quickly. Stay away from that up air, though. That is death. Yeah, no, don't, don't don't approach CDD, dude. Just, I mean, well, you approach oh, when he lands. Oh, he was looking for the tilt string. Not going to get it. Oh, there's the jab lock. He doesn't go for the smash track off it. Back air, though, from DDD. Yeah. <laughs> Viking in the chat with Get Wrecked, Tyler. <laughs> there's the jab on the side of the stage. Get some good damage out. He's thinking about that Gordo. He was, he was looking to see if there's a good opportunity to reflect it at an angle. The side's better of it. Yeah, I think it's really funny against this particular matchup is that he'll still press his Gordo as many times as he would anybody else because, like, I mean, it's, it's a good move. I said Loud in this final game here has been so good at getting in, getting off a couple up tilts, and then maybe making something else out of it. Yeah, that's, that's what Fox does. Like, you have to just capitalize off of any hit because if you don't, you're not playing Fox. Yeah. The ruling really early there on that dash on the ledge, not even close to getting the two frame. Misjudges the uh, the wind up of Firefox. Oh, that back air is going to do it though. Takes him down to final stock. The ruling at 118, but two stocks. Gets in there and breaks up the uh, reflect on the Gordo. Spit out there for a little bit of damage. Oh, neutral get up from Loud. I honestly expected the roll once the ruling pressed forward, but that up smash will do it. But 48% was already turned out because DDD just hits like a truck. There's oh, that landing really... back air again. Gordo gets shielded. Yeah, I mean, Fox, he needs that string right now because, I mean, he's in kill percent. Yeah, oh. Oh, no, oh. He, he's in major kill percent now. Major kill percent. Oh, there you go. He's got the string. Yes. We... That tilt, he's going to get him up into 64. We love to see out of this. Ooh. There's the 64. Oh, but at 112 in major <laughs> danger right <laughs> now. <laughs> and he just gets up into the smash, and he eats it, unfortunately. That Gordo had really good guardian. Lerulean takes it 2-1 after dropping game one. Really nice set there. 